With an FC TV with Chris Agata following today's 3 2 win away at Hampton and Richmond. Aggie, another dramatic one. What did you make of it? Um, mixed bag, really. Um, I thought the, the players' response was, uh, was superb. I think that, um, like last week, I felt that we didn't help the group. Um, whereas today, for me, it was all about the players and uh, their mentality again and uh, to be able to. Again, go goal down again, um, and find the uh, the resilience really to bounce back. I mean, the, the equalising goal was better than the goal against St Albans. I think that's some of the best football I've seen uh, up close. I think it's fantastic football. Um, and to go two one up, and you know, we, we said in there after the game. 2-2, two, two, what can often happen is the momentum of the game completely shifts and you find yourself on the wrong end of the scoreline, whereas um, we, a bit like Western really, where we scored and then it was goal, goal, goal. Um, they've obviously got the equaliser and then we've gone up the other end and got, turned out to be the winner, so big header from Glen Ray. Um, yeah, I just think it was another example of the players' fantastic mentality and I think a sign of a good team. We challenged the group before the game often you find obviously good teams can beat don't they uh, but you often see as a response and I thought I think we saw that today um, not just as a team I thought individually across the board we were we were we were very good. How pleased are you with that resilience as well it's that I think in every game now you've fallen behind but you managed to pick up eight points out of five away games to start the season. Yeah I time. mean we, we sort of my experience tells me if you can sort of go out two points per game um, you're always going to be there or thereabouts and be just underneath that um, so um, that's positive and to be honest across the season yeah, there's a million and one games you probably play unbelievably well in ten of them and then there's maybe ten that you're terrible you're definitely going to lose and often what defines you is the, the games where you're half and half and, and the scoreline can go either way and I felt today that our effort and our desire as a group um, meant that we got the three points. We shifted what could have easily been a loss into a, into not only a draw but three points. And again, I think that's all that's all about the work ethic and the mentality of the group. Got to ask you about that first. The equalising goal that yeah. Cash scored as well, by the way, started in our own six-yard box again. It's another one that will probably be all over socials, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah how, uh, how pleased are you with that? It's going on my LinkedIn. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, yeah, I thought it was exceptional, and uh, it was. I'm, I'm pleased for Cash because. I think that's now five, five goals he's been involved in, uh, either scoring or assisting. And I thought his all-round game today was outstanding, um, on and off the ball. Um, you know, he, he gets an awful lot of love from me. I know that, but I think today you saw why. I thought him, Tommy Willard, Jack Spong. I thought the whole group was very good, but I thought um, their levels were very high today. Um, I thought it's the best we've seen Nicky Reader play. Um, yeah, I, I think I think it was a brilliant goal, um, and it was a great advert for for Worthing football in terms of how we go about our business. Um, but the thing I liked about today is I, I know we can do that. Um, but I just like the last 15, 20 minutes, not from an aesthetics perspective, but just grinding one out. And you know, in all the successful sort of teams I've been a part of, you, you tend to it's those games where you you know where you see what you're all about when they had a man sent off, questionable decision, um, momentum of the game shifted again and we've just got to grind one out and I thought, I think when you can see Danny Cashman, Tommy Willard, these guys, you, you know, your best attacking players running back and desperate to get goal side and desperate to get the ball out of your net, you know, I think there's a lot to be said for that. Um, so I was just really, really pleased with with plenty of, not just the, not just the, the first goal but all aspects of our of our game, um, you know, not so much a defending perhaps, but we'll get there. Um, that's the first time that back line has played together. Um, so they're still trying to build relationships and uh, yeah, so there's still plenty to improve on. There were a few um, debuts amongst the squad today, so full debuts for Oli Black yeah. and Tammy Babalola, mm. as well as a debut off the bench for Sam Packer. Mark, yeah. They all had a big impact. How pleased are you with, with that trio? Well, I think the fact that Cash, Tommy and Co played as well as they did. A lot of that is owed to Temi as well. Um, 
because uh, I don't think Hampton centre halves wanted to step out and match up in midfield. They didn't feel comfortable. It gave us a focal point. Um, you know, just occupied the centre backs, gave us a penalty box threat. I mean, if you've got Nicky Wheeler and Sam Beard in wide areas, you need to be able to cross the ball. Uh, and I just felt that we we'd done that a little bit quicker today. And I think having Temi on the pitch helped. Um, Ollie Black, that's Ollie Black. Right. You know, he, he won't get any uh, plaudits for being uh, Paolo Maldini in terms of on the ball, but he very rarely gets beat. Um, he defends his slot incredibly well. He gives it to better players than him, and his throw is incredibly effective, as we saw, because it resulted in the, the corner for the winning goal. So, um, and Sam Packham, I'm delighted for Pax because he's it's his first game in a year, his first time back from ACL, and I thought with him and Beardy off the two sides, last sort of 20 minutes we looked um, really decent in wide areas in terms of. Um, in possession, out of possession. So, yeah, I'm really pleased for those three as well. There was uh, one sort of disappointing moment at the end with Glenbury getting sent mm. off. What was your view on that? I know it was deemed for time wasting out, but yeah, what was your view on that? Uh, I always think if you give the referee a decision to make, you'd probably uh, ask him for trouble. So, uh, but, uh, you won't get any complaints from me about Glenn doing that because he's got the winning goal today. We talk about big players stepping up. Um, it's a big header. It's a ridiculous, a ridiculous header. Right, he's he's backpedalling and managed to get direct on goal. Brilliant. I think he's getting better and better. I think from the St Albans game, Glenn's been superb. Um, so it's going to be a loss. But like I said, like Joe Cook hasn't even, you know, we, he hasn't even sort of started today. And Cook is you know, an outstanding player. So. Um, you know, we wanted to again try and shuffle it as best as we can to be as competitive across the two games in three days as possible. Um, so with Glenn, uh, you know, Glenn will be available for Boreham Wood. Uh, Alf is unavailable, so obviously Cookie will come in a bit straight swap, and then I can imagine Alfie will probably come back in next weekend uh, for when Glenn's suspended. So is what he's just got. To, we've got the squad to deal with it. And looking ahead at Boreham Wood now. Um, Caps off these this run of away games finally, yeah. and you've got yeah. home hopefully game, home game to look forward yeah, to. Yeah, hopefully. Like where is where is Woodside? <laughs> Jesus. Um, um, so yeah, how how are you looking ahead? Uh, yeah, just look forward to um, a decent test against a very good side. I mean, you see the results today. The results are all over the place. Um, you know, the so-called big hitters in the league—they all drop the points, and it's really competitive. And it's it's what we said. Before the season started, it's probably be 10, 15 games before it really takes shape. Um, so you know, we know Bournemouth Wood are going to be up there, um, and we know that if we're going to do what we want to do, then we'd have to finish above Bournemouth Wood. So I look forward to that game though, because I don't think there'll be a backward step from either team. So we've seen it even today. Hampton, you know, to an extent, dropped off and countered. Um, Truro done that, Hemel done that, whereas I can't see Bournemouth doing that. I think Bournemouth will just go, let's have a game of football and go toe to toe, and I can't wait um, because I back us, um, back us against anyone. So, well, I think the first goal was a prime example of that, where we've got the ball by our own corner flag, and you know they've seen an opportunity to come after us, and we've cut them to bits and scored a great goal. So, I just I look forward to the challenge and. Um, no, like I said, if you said to me after five away games you'd be on eight points, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have snapped your hand off. But then equally, like I said, you know we're, we're running just below two points per game. So um, you often find if you can if you can get close to that away from home, and then on top of that, Woodside, which we intend to make a fortress. Um, I, don't, I don't think we're as far away as perhaps what we maybe felt last week at away at Truro. So. Pleasure, thank you.